What's up, what's up, friends? It's time for another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video. Short video today. So, this is very short. Um, all we're basically talking about is a couple of the updates, a couple more information about the Ghostbusters and some stuff that Game Loft posted on Discord. I'm not sure if you guys are following them everywhere. Like, sometimes it's hard when it's like one piece of information is here and one piece of information is there. So, I'm just giving you guys a little briefing if you didn't already hear it. If you already heard it, you probably... They're like, I don't need you for anything, baby. I'm like, oh my goodness. Anyway, first off, uh, a short video. Uh, Yeti event, coming back. Everyone saw this for a couple days now, I'm sure. Uh, it's nice, because I think the Yeti, man, like we, a lot of us have Yeti already, right? A lot of us have Yeti already. Um, a lot of us have Yeti already, but I think that he's going to be a really solid unit at 7 stars. I know there's a couple people already have him at 7 stars, because they got the extra energy the last time it was around. And they're enjoying him, right? And I'm like, I'm just glad eventually, I'll have to be patient, but eventually I'll be able to get uh, Yeti at seven stars, as well as you know some other units as well uh, in the future. Um, but just nice that he's gonna be available again, right? Can't wait for Officer Primo. I missed out on Officer Primo because I wasn't in beta. Can't wait to actually get Officer Primo, <laughs> because he's a city unit. Yes, anyway, uh, that's besides the point. Just fun that he's coming out. Um, so, couple Ghostbusters units were actually uh, posted. They gave like a little teaser, a little outline, and then like a couple days later, they're like, here's the actual unit. Uh, so, we're actually getting the Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, the, the actual heroes in the Ghostbusters franchise. Um, instead of just like, I mean, I didn't really think they were going to be like just random ghosts, but I was like, I really hope they're not just going to be like random, weird, wacky ghosts. I hope that we actually get the Ghostbusters. I, get, I, I, I don't really know why I was thinking that we're going to be anything else but than that, but yeah. Uh, Peter Venkman, and then they also teased another one, which is uh, Ray. So we're actually going to get at least two of the Ghostbusters pretty soon. They also posted uh, a thing on... I guess let's go do some... We'll, we'll go do some... Um, I'll read you guys the thing. We'll go do some Brick Expedition. <laughs> you do a Brick Expedition, right? I didn't. Okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to actually do Brick Expedition. But I'll read you guys. They posted uh, a lengthy thing on uh, Discord, so I'll go through and I'll read it for you, um, so that you are caught up to date. We'll be having a special Q and A for our Ghostbuster Takeover next Thursday, July sixteenth at two p.m. EDT. I don't know the conversion from EDT to whatever time I'm in, uh, but I always miss it. I all every single time I miss it. I don't know why. Uh, our game team will be on to take your questions. Uh, I'll, I'll give you guys a recap of whatever is they talked about there uh, as well. Uh, content creator program: the application that we reviewed, and all applications will be uh, all applicants will be contacted about the status of their applications very soon. A reminder that you can apply anytime. We are just starting off with this first wave. Of creator, this is basically like Bagel. You're not allowed to make <laughs> Lego Legacy videos anymore. Thanks, Game Loft. I really appreciate that. It's always nice playing on a non-level playing field. <laughs> Feels good, man. Um, I won't get into that. We won't get into the drama, but but between that, but I'm not allowed to be in the content creator program. Um, so anyway, event communications with Ghostbusters and Beyond. We are going to be building. Let's uh, continue that. We're going to be building event calendars to show what is upcoming. I know getting notice... We'll, we'll show these in the future whenever they're uh, announced, too. I know getting notice on reruns is a constant ask, so moving past Ghostbusters, we hope to have that running. It's still to be determined whether, whether they will be per update or monthly, but we can uh, at least see what kind of stuff is going to be going on moving forward. Uh, they are also planning... They're really planning for, by, by the end of the year, to have like a lot of stuff fleshed out in the... Why are we still running with this wacky team? I just literally put it, like, just kept in whatever the game stuck in. Oh my god. Why do the games pick up? Probably because they're, uh, I don't know. Probably some stipulation for whatever match we did at some point before. Uh, anyway, uh, long-term updates. I know there have been a ton of questions about the roadmap, and without spoiling our Ghostbuster takeover, we couldn't answer them. We have an amazing second half of the year beyond, uh, and beyond planned with some things you already know. Raids in space. With some more surprises under our belt, we'll be having more general Q&As more often to allow times to ask things about this. I know it's been quiet, but we had to focus on aligning all our communications so that now we can focus on keeping everyone in the loop with the best information. I don't think it's really necessarily been quiet. Uh, with a lot of these different mobile games, like they don't really say too much. Like A lot of times I'll just 
update. Like, they'll just put something out. They'll be like, this is out now. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, sometimes they'll give you some, like, little notice. But not too many of them lay out things for, like, months to come. They, like, sort of, like, let you know that there's going to be things available uh, months to come. But not, like give you too much details on anything just in case things change they don't want to be like committed to have this thing out by this time or this thing out this specific way because they want the flexibility to change things um but it is also imp it is kind of a thing with um oh, oops it is kind of a thing with um mobile games it's important to or any game really for people to be excited about things in the future to keep playing because they're like oh maybe nothing's coming up in the future i'm not going to play it anymore right so they it's, it's always nice to have something hopeful to look forward to uh in the future but anyway that's just it for um for these things but i don't think that they're like being quiet or bad about communication the only the only uh issues that i have with their communication is that it's not actually available in the game again i'm gonna say this a million times i don't think that this bad communicate like too little communication is just like they could be communicating all of this stuff in the game to everyone instead of just like a small percentage of people on discord right so that's kind of my because not everyone uses discord every single day you know what i mean but if you play the game it's like it's right there i still i still don't understand what they would they love discord and they don't want to po post updates in the game this is not a lego legacy thing this is like just game loft how they operate is they love posting things on discord only <laughs> like okay great <laughs> i guess i gotta be on discord every single day now anyway uh that's for that's for this this one we don't have to have a super long video again that's just the ray uh sorry the, the peter <laughs> it literally says peter on the screen uh and then that's the ray for uh for the two units so far i'm excited to see what they do i'm excited to see what their skills are i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it doesn't have to be a super long video just got giving you guys a recap anyway that's it for this one hope you guys have a great week and i'll see you as always in the next one